That, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment that Jared Goff solidified his status as the Detroit Lions quarterback of the future. And even though a lot of us have been trying, and I say us, I mean collectively, as a Detroit Lions fan base, have been trying to get rid of him since the day that he, before he even got here, okay, he's going to be here, and he's going to be here a while. Now, I have receipts talking about that when the Rams came up as a potential trade candidate for Matthew Stafford three years ago, that Jared Goff, the only way I accepted that was if Jared Goff was part of the deal. Now, I can plug the receipt as the pink comment if you need it. But with that being said, this guy, we have been trying to chase this guy out of town before he even got here. Year one, the the year that Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence came out, we tried to get rid of him then. Year two, Malik Willis, we tried to get rid of him then. Last year, I don't know who y'all was trying to, Lamar Jackson, y'all was trying to replace him last offseason. And now heading into this season, all I keep hearing about is Hendon Hooker and the looking forward to seeing what the future is with Hendon Hooker. Well, I'm here to tell you that Hendon Hooker might be the future, but it may not be for the Detroit Lions. And if it is, it's going to be a long way down the road. This is coming from Jeremy Fowler on ESPN. He was on SportsCenter today. And here's what he had to say about a potential contract extension for Jared Goff. Now, we know this is coming, but here's what he had to say. It says, Jeremy Fowler reported that Goff is expected to receive a contract extension worth $45 million annually. Fowler noted that while there's mutual interest between the two sides, the deal st- still needs to be ironed out. He wants to be there. He's only 29 years old. Do make about $28 million this year, which is on the low side for a quarterback. So he's only going to have to so he's going to have to be in that threshold of 45, maybe even 50 million a year based on the way he's played. So it's going to take some time to get that done. Jared Goff is going to be a Detroit Lion. Now only making $28 million this year, that is on the extreme low side when it comes to a quarterback. Jared Goff, strange man in a strange land. Year one was atrocious, but so was the team. I mean, we know where we were coming from. We didn't have anything to work with from our previous regime. Year two, we almost got there. Started off horrendous. Seems like so f- Long ago, we were one and six, started the season. Time moves slow, but then it moves fast at the same time. Then you have 2023. This guy takes us to just think of all the accolades that Jerry Goff led us to, right? Our best record, he tied the best record that the Detroit Lions have ever had at 12 and five. It was previously 12 and four, should have been 13 and four, but you know, we'll get you next year. Tied the best record the Detroit Lions have ever had. Wins the NFC North for the first time in his existence. Gets a home playoff game at Ford Field for the first time since the stadium has been built. All right. Wins that home playoff game and beats his form, our former quarterback and the former team he used to play for. You're talking about and takes us to the NFC title game where I will argue anyone that he was the least of our problems as to why we didn't make the Super Bowl. Okay, Jared Goff was a a win and a half away, and I say a half because of that second half in that championship game, from doing something that will forever submit him in the history books beyond anything Matthew Stafford has ever done. And I think that we're still going to get there with him. With that being said, Jared Goff is going to get an extension, and anyone who doesn't like it is going to have to deal with it. All right. Now, Jared Goff is making $6 million. I'm sorry. I am looked at somebody else. $28 million this year. Okay. Let's look at where that $20 million, $28 million puts him right now. Okay. He is, if at, at his current contract this year, Jared Goff is in between Baker Mayfield, all right, and Geno Smith. So it says $33 million. So where did I read $28 million from? I don't know. $33 million. So either way, it's right here. All right? $33 million. So he's just <laughs> just making more than Baker Mayfield, which is a travesty in my opinion. All right. So if Jared Goff was to reach $45 million, here are the top 10 paid quarterback. Breck, 
Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. Now, I don't get carried away because this guy here, he signed a half million, half a billion dollar deal. He's got massive endorsements and he about to get paid. All right. So Kirk Cousins, this is outlandish. All right. Deshaun Watson, outlandish. So if he was to get paid $45 million, which is the low end, let's just put him underneath Patrick Mahomes. So he would be, he would now bump out Josh Allen. Josh Allen would be 10. Jared Goff would be nine. Prescott would be out of the top 10. If he was to get $50 million, it would only still make him the fifth highest paid quarterback in the National Football League under Justin Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson Wilson, Justin Herbert, and Joe Burrow. And one after one after one, he got his deal. He was the highest paid. He got his deal. He was the highest paid by half a million dollars. He got his deal. And he was, he is now the highest paid quarterback per average year in the National Football League, Joe Burrow. Jared Goff is going to be paid as a top five to top 10 quarterback. Are you willing to deal with that? I am. Jared Goff, in my opinion, has played worthy of a top five contract. Our offense has been top five for the last two years, right? And he went on a streak of 300 and something consecutive passes with no interception. But you know what? You know what the crazy part is about that? It sucked when he that streak was given away. I can't remember when it was. It might have been a Seattle game that he broke the streak. It carried over from last year. I don't even care nothing about that. Like, it, 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 if, at first it was weird, and then it was like, you know what? Who cares? We had the best record we've had in a long time. All the accolades that I mentioned earlier. So who cares about records like that? So I see what Jared Goff was saying. But... Here's the deal. Like it or not, Jared Goff is going to be the quarterback of the Detroit Lions for at least, in my opinion, the next three seasons. Now, that's going to put the Detroit Lions in a bit of a conundrum. But shout out to my guy, Rock Dorn, mentioned something a little while ago in a couple shows that Jared Goff and Hendon Hooker, if Jared Goff was extended by two years, that would be three years total. Hendon Hooker has how many years left on his contract? Three, right? So now both quarterbacks are done at the same time. Jared Goff is looking at 33 years old. That's when Stafford won a championship. So who, who's to say we're going to move on then? Henry Hooker will be 30, 30 years old. Who is he really going to be the heir apparent to Jared Goff, right? Or do we sign him to like a, a super cheap deal for a year as we transition and he's the bridge quarterback? Or, or do we draft another quarterback a few years from now? I would say if Jared Goff gets a two, I'm, I'm thinking, honestly, a three-year extension to put Jared Goff here for four years total. But I would not put it past. Dude is only 29. He turns 30 in October. Shout out to Jared Goff. He's actually about to get married, by the way. Congratulations. It's about time. It's about time. That's all I'm saying about it. But anyway, um, where was I at? Uh, I got distracted. We're talking about Jared Goff being you know, if he gets a five-year deal, he he's 34-ish, somewhere around there. Maybe at this point. I, I believe right now Jared Goff is coming. He is in the peak of his career. Or if he's not there yet, he's almost there. I saw something today. The LA Rams had a first-round pick for the first time since drafting Jared Goff number one overall eight seasons ago. How crazy is that? 2016. They have not had a first-round pick since drafting our quarterback, who ironically took us to the NFC title game. I don't know, man. So let me know. Jared Goff, to me, he's going to be paid top five to top ten easy. Easy. I could see him getting $50 million. Let me know in the comments below. A lot of you guys are going to have a fit, a natural fit, and I love to see it. I love to see it. I love when y'all get a little uncomfortable because I be uncomfortable a lot. I put my opinion out here, and I don't care if y'all like it or not. I just put it out, right? That's one of the things about this channel. But I know I'm going to get some pushback in the comment section. Somebody said yesterday, I want to be very clear. Yesterday, I mentioned, I asked that y'all see anything that was, notice anything that was different on me or, or about me. And somebody said that I'm less critical of the GM or I'm not as blah, 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 and they can listen to me now, right? And I was like, no, that's not it. I lost 10 pounds in the last uh, six weeks, I believe. So hopefully you can see it, right? I'm trying to get 
maybe about 170, 175, got a, a long way to go, but that's what it was. It is not that I've laid off our general manager. There are times that I don't feel like pushing pushing the envelope. I just don't feel like it. Believe it or not, I get tired of being that way, but when I get that way, I'm going to be that way. If I don't like something, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to I'm not going to cater and pansy and play patsy and all that stuff. That's that's not there are plenty of channels on YouTube. Plenty. Some self-proclaimed pansies. Go watch them. You can go watch them. I am not that guy. But I know what happens is that when, when you hear something that you don't want to hear, nobody want, none of us want to hear, want to be told something that we don't want to hear, right? And, and that's just what I do. <laughs> it's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with that. But anyway, Jared Goff is going to be around for a long time time let me know your thoughts are you mad at this are you feeling some type of way did you want Lamar Wilson Jackson would you have liked the Detroit Lions to take a quarterback the entire time Jared Goff was here are you happy with Hendon Hooker it's a lot of questions and you can answer all of them if Hendon Hooker never takes a snap as the starting quarterback for the Detroit Lions how will you feel because I could see that happening as and and as y'all are ripping it up and chopping it up in the comment section and coming at me all right, let me just quote your general manager and head coach. It's a lot easier to get worse at quarterback than it is to get better. So while we have all these thoughts of Hendon Hooker and who and what he's going to be because of what he did in college, all right, we don't know what we got in him, but we know what we got in JG, which is a tremendously accurate pocket passer. A little shifty, you know, a little clumsy as well. But a guy who, if you need any reminder of what he's able to do. There it is right there. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Hit that notification bell so when we go live for the NFL Draft, you will know that we are live. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. This is channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. And as always, go Lions.